Alan Weir at the Civil Rights Museum in Memphis where Martin Luther King was brutally assassinated in 1968. Alan, what in terms of uh, the African-American movement and Buddhism and Martin Luther King or Malcolm X, how does all this tie in when we're talking about Buddhism? Because most people, and especially African-Americans, consider Buddhism to be something foreign, something that we cannot relate to. How does Buddhism tie into the movement, per se, or the process that, that you're discussing? Well, from my understanding of Buddhism, there is no such thing as a coincidence. And I don't believe it's coincidental that I began my Buddhist practice on January 15th, which happened to be the late Martin Luther King's birthday. Um, I'm here for the first time in Memphis speaking on Buddhism in a lecture form and standing at the very location where he was assassinated. I have heard that uh, the family is also in town for some legal reasons in relation to that actual event. By no coincidence at this moment here in Memphis. So the universal law, time, energy, all corresponds to certain patterns or rhythms that exist within life. When we begin to reflect on what those actual meanings are in relation to how these things add up, we'll recognize that that is actually a manifestation of the law. There is no such thing as a coincidence. Everything happens specifically because of a cause. When we fail to recognize that call, we call those things miracles, coincidences, um, extraordinary phenomena, but in essence they are a manifestation of the mystic law. The nature of life and the Buddha's Appearance all corresponds to how people, when they recognize the truth, recognize that suffering is a manifestation of the absence of truth. So the Buddha taught his one great doctrine, in essence, to extinguish suffering in this world that he called the Saha world. Nam myoho Ikkyo is a law that will transmit itself through time for the next 10,000 years and beyond in this time period known as Mapo. The Buddha's insight and his wisdom and his vision can only be carried out by people who take faith and experience the power of the law in their daily lives through the practice of Nichiren Dashonin's Buddhism. So hopefully men like Martin Luther King, uh, Malcolm X, Mahatma Gandhi, and other individuals who've risked their lives for the benefit of others will be recognized for their efforts in light of people coming together under the practice of Nishin Dashonin.